time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and it's time to open another one-up box and three of its friends. So for all you mathletes out there, that's a total of four. One, two, three, four. I count on my fingers. Now, if you guys decide you want your own subscription to 1UP Box, you can get $3 off. Yeah, one, two. Well, you get the picture. $3 off, use code NERDGASM, which is also down in the video description. That'll get you three bucks off your own subscription. And if you don't have enough money to get a subscription, just stay tuned till the end of this video, and I will tell you how to enter a contest to win one of three of these bad boys that I'm partnered in one up box and they're gonna they're gonna give them away to who, whoever wins the contest. But you gotta like, you gotta watch the end of the video and yeah. So are you guys ready for this? I am. Okay, so at this juncture, we need a way to open this box. Oh, bat knife. Bam! You guys know the drill. Okay, you guys ready? You ready to see what's in here? You ready? <gasps> Alright, well, literally popping out at us right here is a Kirby. Just just watch me be wrong. This is probably not Kirby, is it? Haha, <laughs> I was right. Suck it, Kirby! So this Kirby is apparently recommended for ages seven and up. And I don't really know why, because seriously, like what could a baby do with that to hurt themselves? I mean, they're not gonna swallow it. If your baby can swallow that, your baby's got issues bigger than playing with a seven-year-old plus toy. Now what I'm saying? It's a little buddy distributed in North America. I bet you it's made in China. I bet you, yep, made in China. You can, you can always, you can just bet on that. Because if this was made in the United States, this box would cost $48.50. Now, one of the nice things about the 1UP box is it's one of the cheaper monthly subscriptions that I get. You can pick it up for $13 and some change. And most of the subscription boxes that I open are, you know, 19 bucks on up. So if you're looking for an entry level box to try it out, one that comes with a t-shirt, which is my big thing. I love that they come with the t-shirts. And um, this, is, this is definitely a good box to start out with. All right, looks like we got a shirt in here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Bam! All right, that's either Iron Man or Metroid. I'm gonna go with Metroid. I'm just, I'm probably wrong, but yeah, mm, no, nah, definitely Metroid. De definitely Metroid. Oh, and it's a Toltec shirt. Oh, I don't know what it is, but the Toltec shirts are so soft. I love a soft t-shirt, guys. It's like my favorite thing in the world. In 2XL, baby, every shirt comes in your size. You tell them what your shirt size is when you order the subscription to make sure that every time you get a shirt, it fits you like a glove. And not like spandex glove. If you put in the right size, it fits like it says. Looks like we have a little... I'm thinking that's Adventure Time. Not 100% on that, but I'm thinking that that is an Adventure Time sweatband. Now, I'm starting to think that 1UP Box might be mocking me a little bit because it seems like I get a lot of sweatbands in these. Oh, yeah. It, it's almost like they think I need them. Then, of course, we get the 1UP Box pin for February 2016. And I just stabbed myself in the thumb with it. You get 1UP Box exclusive tattoos. I am not going to put these tattoos on right now, but they do look awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to put them on Xander. I think Xander would enjoy these more than me, but you never know. Mrs. Barnacle, she might get a little frisky if I put one of these in the right spot. Not what I'm saying? No, seriously, like my, on my arm or, or back or something. Oh, now this is cool. I love it when they put these in the boxes. I hope they keep putting these in the boxes. Uh, this right here is a necklace. This is man jewelry right here. It is a spider in a web. Eh, eh, except... I don't know if this will fit. A uh, uh, one-up box, I think you might have given me a choker. Yeah, it's, that's a little too small for me to wear. I mean, I could, but uh, then I'd, I'd run out of oxygen and bad things might happen. You need oxygen to live, right? All right, we also have some stickers in the bottom here. You can see we have a shell, we have a star, we have a feather, we have a fire flower, we have a mushroom. It'll make you big. <laughs> not what I'm saying. Okay, I've worn that one out to death. And the little leaf. And if I'm not mistaken, all these are associated with Super Mario Brothers 3 or or later. But uh, these all these all seem like they were in 3. I'm pretty sure that's a 3 thing. If I'm wrong, though, school me in the comments. You guys all know I love to hear your opinion on all the things I get wrong. And last but not least, we have the Transform 1UP box. You know what? I think I was right. It says, even though you didn't win the Powerball, you can feel like a mega billionaire in this mashup. You know what? I think I was right on the shirt, guys. I think I was right. It's both 
Iron Man and Mega Man. So that that's why it confused me. It's, it's obvious. Well, at least Xander's going to be happy. The necklace didn't fit, which means it goes to him now. All right, guys, it's time to open another box. Now, you may notice that different months boxes are different sizes, and that depends on what the contents of the box are. They actually make the box fit the contents because that's just, I don't know, that's smart. That's like, that's like economical and stuff. All right, so we'll just take the one off the top here. This is for January. Hey, hey we're going in almost reverse chronological order here. <laughs> well, that was kind of quick. All right, here you go. You guys ready? Na, 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 na. Whoa. All right, I can already tell just looking in the top of this box, it's gonna be awesome. The first item we pull out of the box right here is, oh my God, it's a Dorbs. You know, Dorbs? Marvel Series 1 Vinyl Collectible. Now this is not a pop figure, I believe. It is a vinyl figure, it's just not a pop figure. So that, that's an important uh, differentiation to make because I know a lot of people collect exclusively pop vinyl, but this actually looks really cool. And this one that we have right here is, of course, Spider-Man. I mean, that's undeniably Spider-Man. All right, I just wanted to give you a couple seconds to start typing all your hate into the comments before I corrected you and said, ha I know it was Deadpool. I knew it was Deadpool. I just like messing with you guys because y'all think I'm so stupid, but I'm actually SMRT. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching way too much Trailer Park Boys. When is the new season coming out? Hey, but on the plus side, guys, this is not made in China because it's made in Vietnam. All right, it looks like we have a packet of Super Mario dog tags. All right, so let's open up and see what's inside. Ooh. It delivers, it actually is a dog tag. Looks like this necklace thing actually is a theme. Okay, it looks like it's got some little little protective covering on it so it doesn't get scratched up. And there you have a Super Mario dog tag that says on the back, Mario. Well, Super Mario, but this is Mario under. Um, anyways, this one actually has a big enough chain to fit my big head. So Xander doesn't get this one, uh-uh, no mini barnacles. this is daddy's. This is daddy's right here, bro. Guys, I promise you, I'm not sweaty, I'm just big boned, okay? It also looks like inside of the packet we get Monty Mole, who's on this actual cool little holographic looking flashy card. It looks like we have a flower power sticker, and we have a little insert showing you all of the different tags that you can collect. Eh? All right, looks like inside we have an insulated, looks like a can cozy. That is a can cozy. And it says zero to hero coffee on it, which is really cool because I already have the Star Fox coffee cup. That's pretty cool. I like these things. I might start putting them on my Soylent bottles. Probably won't make it taste any better though. All right, we of course have the shirt. All right, let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Uh, 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 uh. And it's another toll tax. <laughs> God, these things are soft. Oh, never get, get enough of this. All right, so what do we got here? We got, uh, what? Pugs Legend. Dude, I'm like so confused on every level here. All right, you guys are gonna have to decode that one down in the comments because I seriously have no freaking clue. Oh, it looks like we have a Zelda patch. This looks like an iron-on. So if you are a young child and you're watching this right now, your parents are already horrible, horrible people for allowing you to watch me. But since they made that misjudgment, you should go ask them if you can borrow the iron to put this on your t-shirt because you know, they, they might just go for it. I'm just, I'm just saying, you got some progressive parents. All righty, we have the pen right here, or the pin. Every once in a while I say pen and everybody just like freaks out. It's not a pen, it's a pen. All right, there you go. It's one up box, January 2016 legend box. All right, we have a thing. It says two. Whoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall pass my love. And I think that's like a little Thor, Thor guy with uh, with his hammer, which I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. Actually, I will, I'm gonna try. Was it Mjolnir, Molinar, Meow Meow? And now we get the card at the bottom of the box that tells me how wrong I was. Okay, this is the legend box. And according to the back, that was a Deadpool Dorb. So I was correct, that is Deadpool, not Spider-Man. I, I honestly, I was just messing with you guys. I knew it was Deadpool. I know Deadpool, Merc with a mouth, he's my favorite character. Oh, it's Game of Legends, how did I not get that? It's freaking Link sitting on a throne of swords. I didn't, I didn't get that, I need to start remembering. It's a mashup, it's a mashup, it's a mashup. Cause that's how you get around copyright. That's actually genius one up box, that's just genius. The Valentine's Day card and the shirt. So there were six items in that box. So I'm gonna be honest, last month's box, January, was badass. This month's box was decent, but a little hit and miss. So just like, you know, with the subscription boxes, know that some months are better than others. It's just how it goes. I'm also still a little bitter that this necklace did not fit me. I'm, I'm bitter, guys. I'm bitter. Need a bigger chain. But Xander will be happy, so I'll let it slide. <laughs> All right, 
yet another box. Let's see if we're still in semi-chronological order here. Oh, nope, 1118. So we're gonna send a little detour drive around around December back to November. Bat knife. <laughs> I just did that really, really slow and sped it up. I'm curious what it looks like. Okay, guys, ready? BAM! All right, so right on top, we are rocking a Captain America plushie. Yeah, because they like plushies in this box. If you are a collector of plushies, vinyl figures, or jewelry, you can't go wrong with this box. You honestly can't. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a funny little secret I found out. Some people are actually selling the stuff in these subscription boxes on eBay for more than what the box costs because they happen to get an item that somebody somewhere else is actually looking for and wants to collect. I'm not guaranteeing by any means you can do that, but I, I went and looked and people are legitimately doing it. I thought that was kind of hilarious. Be cheaper just to get the one up box, guys, just saying. And this is official Funko. I think those are the same guys that make the pop vinyls, right? So this is official Funko and it was made in Vietnam. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, see China, you're not the only one that can export toys. <laughs> Vietnam can too. Okay, we have a ball. It is a hard ball. Um, it's got kind of an evil, evil looking face on it. There's opened up, see what's inside. Can't open it, so let's use the dangerous and not sharp at all bat knife and try not to get tetanus here. Always stab towards your fingers, always. Oh, it opens up and inside, whoa, the body. Okay, that's twisted. So that appears to be Superman. That's kind of clever. You actually take the head apart, take the body out of the head, and then make the figure. That's a new one for me, folks. I have not previously seen that anywhere. All right, time to get the t-shirt out of the way. Let's yank this sucker out of here. All right, see what we got. <gasps> it's another Toltex? I'm starting to see a pattern here. This is the over 9,000 shirt. Am I correct in saying that that is a Dragon Ball Z character? I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say Goku because I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z and that name sounds familiar. So I'm just gonna say that's Goku. If I'm wrong, just, just you know, the comment box is down there. Set me straight. And he is wearing a Superman shirt. So this is yet another mashup because it's not really Goku or Superman. It's, it's, a, it's a mashup. So it's like, it, it all has to do with copyright law and, and, and all that stuff. But you know, this, this, this is how you make a shirt and, and not go to jail. It's brilliant. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh. We have a Star Wars puzzle, and it's got our favorite character in the world, Kylo Ren, right there. Everybody, everybody loves him. He's got the sword with the broken fuses that spits off little bits of force crystal crap. And it's resealable for easy storage. And as you can see on the back, it is a 100 piece puzzle. But unfortunately, I hate puzzles more than life. So this is going to my wife, Mrs. Barnacles, because she actually likes puzzles. So you guys, the way I figure out what goes to me and what goes to them is I keep the stuff I like and then they get all the stuff that I don't like, but I just don't tell them that part and they think that I'm being really charitable. It's a genius move, try it. All right, it looks like we have an air freshener here. All right, that's kind of inappropriate. I mean, it looks like you got Harley Quinn kind of squatting down and it's an, it's an air freshener. Okay, let's see what it smells like. It smells a little bit like a dirty rug. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to hell. No, but seriously, it smells good. That is going in the sock drawer. All right, looks like we have a Dragon Ball Z. Oh, it was Goku! It was! It looks just like the guy on the shirt. It's totally Goku. I called it. I don't know why I was like not confident about that. I knew it was Goku, obviously, guys. I'm a nerd. I'm gonna know Dragon Ball Z. Pfft. Seriously, ask me anything, dude. You can't stump me. I know everything about Dragon Ball Z. Okay, anyways, this looks like it is a... Sticker of some kind? It says it's a choking hazard. Seriously, who the hell is gonna swallow that? Man, kids must have huge mouths these days. Jeez. It is a sticker and it is made in China, but we already knew that. It was either China or Vietnam. That's that they, they produce 99.999% of the world's everything. All right, we have the pin right here for November 2015 for the one up box. Got a little, little flash dude on there. I didn't see flash, where's flash at? Wait, why do they have flash on the pin but there's no flash in here? Did I miss flash? Hold on, let's consult the compendium here. We'll flip it around, it says, okay, we should have had the Funko Mopies, this guy, Oh, he's not the Flash, he's Captain America. That's why I saw the Flash on there. Okay, never mind. I got one of those. I got one of the DC buildable figures. Um, you guys can also see that depending on which one up box you get, you might get different variations of things. Even two boxes from the same month might have different things in them. So they show you all of the potential things. So there's eight possibilities for the for the plushie. There was two possibilities for the puzzle. You could have got a Stormtrooper or Kylo Ren. I'm glad I got Kylo Ren because, you know, let's just be honest, he's the best character that's ever existed in the entire Star Wars franchise. 
And don't forget to use hashtag one up box and follow one up underscore box on everything. And now it comes down to this, the last box. Are you guys ready for this? Can you handle it? Here, let's try doing this one really fast and slow it down. <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't nearly as funny as me slowing it down, speeding it up. Let me know, guys. I want to know. I want to know which one you liked better or or just found incredibly annoying and never want me to do again. Here we go. <sighs> Don't look. There's a lot of fur in this one. All right, let's see what we got here. On top, we have a Wookiee. So this can go with my Captain America and my Kylo Ren puzzle. Seriously, that's actually pretty cool. It's a Wookiee. He's got a little pouch on the side that actually opens up so you can put stuff in it, like, like a thimble or a cap off a pen, and he is incredibly furry. Now you guys may not know this, but Xander loves incredibly soft and furry things. So Xander is definitely getting this because if he saw me carrying it around, he would be so sad if he couldn't have it. And it was made in Dong Guan. I think I'm, am I doing it? Dong Guan. G, doggone. It's made in doggone China. And this is official Disney licensed merchandise. You know what? When I was down in Disneyland recently, I think I actually saw this for sale in the store. So that's actually really cool. You want to be my Wookiee? All right. We got a shirt. Meow. Bam. All right. Let's see. We got Chewbacca. We got uh, Leia and Skywalker and some bulbs hanging on a tree and a Death Star out there. I don't get the mashup though. Like, what am I missing here, guys? What am I missing? All right. Looks like we have a lanyard. This is actually really cool. It's a Star Wars lanyard, actually very soft. Almost almost feels like silk. It's not though, but it feels like it. It's got the detachable thingamajigger at the end so you can hand your pass to people to sign in check. I actually like lanyards. I've collected quite a few lanyards. I actually need to find a box to start putting them in because I get so many of them at conventions. But this one's actually pretty unique. I like this. I might actually wear this to something like PAX. All right, we appear to have some kind of inflatable. Ladies. Oh wait, no, I think it's a lightsaber. No, never mind. hold on. That's actually really loud. All right, I'm gonna give this to Xander. He's gonna have a heyday with this. Another fun fact, Miss Barnacles does not like loud noises. So me giving this to Xander is probably a very mean thing to do. But you do realize we have to do it. I mean, it's, it's in our nature. I'm not sweating. The ceiling's leaking water on me. Sucks, I have to turn the AC down every single time I shoot these videos and I have tons of lights on me and it just gets really hot. Kids, do not choose YouTube as a career, okay? Don't you dare. Go be a brain surgeon or what other jobs have air conditioning in the building? All right, we got the little pen at the bottom here. This is a, or pin, pin. This is a one-up box, December 2015 Galaxy box. And then of course, at the bottom here, why do I have like 20 of these? Oh, we missed something. We have a sticker here. Look who that is. It's Rocket, right? Is that, is that who that is? I don't know, tell me who that is. All right, it looks like I got three of the same insert. Um, you guys might want to check on Phil down in packaging. Uh, he's getting a little crazy again. You know what would make that funny is if there's really a guy in packaging named Phil. I mean, I hope you're watching this, Phil. So I'm talking to you. Now, according to the sheet, I've got the Chewbacca. I've got the inflatable sword laser, the space lanyard, the raccoon decal, raccoon decal, but it's, it's from Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, right? What am I missing? Got the Captain Kirby art print. Wait, where's the cap? Oh, it's just still in here. Darn it. All right, hold on. Eh, eh. This is a Captain Kirby art print. It literally is just a print that you could like frame or stick up on your wall. And it literally says Captain Kirby. And it's obviously Captain on top of the Enterprise, but it's a mashup. It's a mashup, so, so, so copyright. Now, the thing I like the most about these subscription boxes is you don't know what you're gonna get. You know you're gonna get a shirt, but you don't know what kind of shirt or what art's on it. You know that you're probably gonna get some kind of a plush or some kind of a figurine. And it's really cool if you wanna decorate out like a room or a nerd cave, you just get this stuff and your room kind of randomly evolves. That's what mine has been doing because I have this artwork literally everywhere. And if you don't like something, you can give it to a niece or nephew or brother or sister or cousin or the Goodwill or Salvation Army or the dump if you're gonna be a dick. But I'd hope that you'd consider giving it to somebody in need. We're selling it on eBay. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you that we're having a contest to give away three of these one-up boxes. And if you guys would like to enter that contest, all of the information is down in the video description telling you what you need to do to get an entry into the contest. And we're gonna be running the contest all month and picking a winner at the end of the month, which is hopefully you. And the winner will receive a one-up box 
free of charge. Now, if you're already subscribed to One Up Box, don't worry, you're still eligible to win the contest. And if you do win the contest, your box for that month will be comped. That means free, that means no moolah, no dinero, no coin, no going to the bank, no writing a check. Cheers for free. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments and slap a like on this video. It lets me know if you guys are enjoying the content I produce. I have a hell of a lot of fun doing what I do, and it wouldn't be possible without the support of you, my viewers. And I just want you to know that I love each and every one of you, even the guys that are kind of trollish and like to be dicks about my weight. I love, I love you too, because I know you have good intentions, but, but just, you know, back up a bit. That's all I'm saying. I'm not fat. I just got a glan glanular issue. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.